thing you know, I'll be back in Bow River again. Hi there, this is Ian Moss, and you're watching Do the Yarra Valley. So of all the songs you've played over the years, is there one that you never tire of? Yeah, I'd probably put Bow River, I think, at the top of that list. Um, why? Because um, I, I think, it, you know, firstly, uh, what's important with everything you do is, is to have a good song, which is something Don Walker instilled in Cold Chisel early in the days. And he's the kind of guy, you know, some might say pedantic, but then others or a perfectionist, but he's the kind of guy that would he'd let it keep a song on hold till he got the very last syllable, not just the last word, the last last syllable to get the right feel for the thing. Um, and it pays off because it means every part of that song means something and if it's it's good you should the theoretically you should never get sick of mm. playing the song. Um, but the other thing that's important to me uh, is, is also having good songs but having room to improvise a bit so with Bow River you, you've got your song structure that you stick to but there's always room in there to um, to I improvise which keeps it fresh you know? yeah. and uh, yeah always looking for new new ways to play always trying to get better as a player and, yes um, yeah, I can see you so do. I'm traditionally just a blues rock kind of guy but um, I've always loved people like Wes Montgomery for example um, but I've never been that keen enough to sort of send myself off to conservatory music and fully learn it, but it's some great stuff in the jazz world that you can just go in and pick bits and pieces and, and it's, uh, because they're so closely connected to blues, um, they, you know, it blends in well and plus just gives a, a different aspect to your playing. Too. And who's your favourite band of all time? <laughs> if you have one. Uh, I'd have to pick Led Zeppelin, I think. Mm. And have you got yeah. a favourite song? Favourite song? Yeah, okay. I Can't Make You Love Me. It's enough song. It's not a Led Zeppelin song. Mm. <laughs> it's a Bonnie Raitt song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just beautiful set of chords, beautiful lyrics, mm -hmm. great storyline. Now thinking about your childhood and growing up in Alice Springs, yes. what's your happiest memory? Um, I'll be heading down to Adelaide on school holidays on the uh, on the original GAN. A lot of fun, a really very old style train. So it used to go across a lot of flood country, which didn't happen often, but it always seemed to happen often enough. And it, every year this thing, it was on a narrow gauge track anyway, so half the time you could get out and walk quicker than the, than the train. I think we did that about three times. Every time I think, you know, it rained somewhere down the track and the thing you'd uh, have to pull over for a couple of days. So just the whole thing had turned into a great, great party. Mm. You know, in small town, small towns like Fink, yes. you know, population of about 10, but then they'd have one pub and um, yeah, just great fun. You know, you'd be playing out in the bush with kids, even uh, we were teenagers, even went shooting with the locals, and sort of, you know, kangaroo shooting. And, um, yeah, that, that's one real fond memory. And when are you the, the happiest? Oh, it sounds a bit cliche, but playing. <laughs> if you're stressing out uh, or, or worried about something, just pick up a guitar and just start playing anything. It's, uh, it's just... And what's the most important thing in your life? son, I think. Yeah. His well-being. Yes. Yeah. And is there something, like as a, par as a parent, we all try to instill things in our children. Do you think, yeah. what would you like to instill in your son? Security and confidence. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm succeeding in doing that. But and is that because of your experience, like being a fairly quiet or shy person, that you feel that way? Yeah, probably. I'm, I'm, I'm Someone who's always managed to forget on stage and in front of people, I've, I've warmed to it. Um, but yeah, no, I haven't always been, uh, and, the, and the confidence seems to come out, but 
Yeah, there's times I've messed around and been indecisive for, for far too long. That's probably through uh, you know, the off-stage lack of confidence. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, it takes time, uh, doesn't it? And people develop at different rates to sort of realise what you need to do to improve your personality. Yeah, my, my old man was maybe if, if a great bloke, but a little bit on the distant side. Could, could, could have done with a bit more, you know, if you fall off, get back on. If you fall off, get back on. Have another go, have another go. Yep. But, but I'm, I'm all right, I'm doing all right. <laughs> and so was your mum more of the dominant one, or having more input? More input, yeah, yeah. yeah. Classic uh, Aussie family, you know. Yeah. Mum's doing all the work, but uh, she was, she was good, yeah, yeah, sort of very encouraging of, of, as, as, of me as a musician from, from oh, a very young good. age. So, yeah, very important. Yes. Mm. And is it something that you've always wanted to do right from when you were little? I think so, yeah. I was, I was without thinking about it to such as what I wanted to do with my life, but I was, I was um, in Alice Springs when I was five. There's, if you heard a song on the radio, it took uh, took an eternity to actually for your local store to get to get that single. So I was constantly sort of oh, yeah, you hear a song and go racing down to your record store. So oh yeah, we can order you. I haven't got it now, but we'll order that in. Should be here in about four weeks. <laughs> right. no, it took, it took, you definitely uh, hopefully learned a bit about sort of patience and and uh, uh, delayed gratification or. You put up with um, eight months of 40 degree heat and waited and waited for those Christmas holidays where you finally, if you're lucky, and we did every second year, went to a coastal town and uh, just to, just sort of uh, to come over the hill and see that big blank sp expanse of blue water was just mind blowing. It's just the most incredible sen sensation. Yeah, so now, a, a deep and meaningful question. If you had the power to change something in the world, what would you change? Yeah, yeah w maybe one day they'll, they'll, they'll sort out uh, fusion or something like that and, uh, and we'll have uh, an endless supply of energy just from water. Mm. And uh, then uh, we could take back the most horrific sort of uh, period of, 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 of horrible bloodshed and war that the West has inflicted on the Middle East for the last 150 years, all, all in the name of oil. Uh, that'll be in tune. Kind of. All right. First thing you know, I'll be back in Bull River again. 